This isn't your usual adapted toy. It's the RC wakeboarding boat from Ronin Syndicate. Today, we're going to adapt it by adding four switch ports to the remote. Then we can play with it with four traditional switches or a switchamajig controller. Notice that we're testing the toy before we start adapting it. Toys can be defective, and it's much easier to return them before we drill holes in them. First off, the tools. Screwdrivers, drill and drill bits, wire stripper, pliers, tweezers, electrical tape, a soldering iron, and lead-free solder. Then four cables with phone plugs, some extra wire, and four lock washers. Once we're finished, we also use a paint pen to mark the cables. This seems like a good time to say that these tools can hurt you if you don't know what you're doing. If you're going to adapt toys yourself, make sure you can do it safely. We're not responsible for injuries to people, toys, or anything else. That said, let's get started. We only need to work on the remote, but keep the boat handy for testing. First, we remove the remote's battery and then open the case. There's a clip around the antenna wire that needs to come off first, and then we take out the four screws on the bottom of the remote and open it up. The two control knobs snap out easily, and then we remove the single screw that holds the circuit board in. We need to solder the four red wires to the back of the board. We'll thread the four cables through four holes we drill in the sides. We drill into both sides of the bottom of the remote housing at the first and third grooves in the grip. We drill four pilot holes and then finish the holes to 530 seconds. It wouldn't be a bad idea to have a safer way to drill the housing than holding it in our hands. Now we thread the four cables through the four holes until there's an inch or so of cable inside the housing. We then crimp a lock washer onto each cable to secure it. This keeps the cables from pulling loose from the circuitry we're going to solder to inside. We've also crimped with paper clips, so research continues into the best crimping system. Next, we get to work on the circuit board. We've marked the locations for each of the four red wires. We strip a small amount of each red wire and solder them on. We keep the wires from the left side on the left and the right side on the right. We then flip the board back over and screw it down again. Now we remove the two wires from the black battery terminal and twist them together with all of our black wires and a pigtail. Solder all of the wires together and then solder the pigtail to the battery terminal. The toy is now adapted, we just have to put it back together. We test each switch to make sure it works and wrap the exposed black wire with electrical tape. We snap the two control knobs back in and close the case. Now we have an adapted toy, we just have to label the switches. We number them to correspond to the switchamajig steering panel using the advanced process of trying the remote with a boat. Now we're playing with the adapted boat, and you can see how we did it. If you're feeling adventurous, you can adapt your own toys, but we're happy to sell you one we've adapted at switchamajig.com. You can also check out our other products, including the switchamajig controller that allows an iPad to control adapted toys. Either the single switch ones commonly available, or extra fun ones like this remote controlled boat.